All right, today felt great outside. Look at this 66 this morning and temperatures climbed slowly. We've been in the upper 80s by lunch lately today. 77 at lunchtime. Then we got into the 80s, but we didn't climb way up in the 80s, just into the mid 80s. We're sitting on 84. Satellite radar looks good too. We look up to our north and there's some showers in the Great Lakes. This energy may come down and give us a shower tomorrow. So it's questionable whether it will survive, but if you see a shower tomorrow, that's what it's coming from. 84 out there right now. It's dry and sunny. 84 our high 65 was the low this morning. Current readings across the area are in the low to mid 80s and compared to yesterday at this time, we're running six degrees cooler than 24 hours ago here in the triad. Burlington is actually eight degrees cooler. So is Asheboro and up in the mountains they are a little cooler too. And as far as the uh, humidity, humidity outlook today, right now we're in what's nice. It feels great outside all because of where the dew point is. It's in the mid fifties, but look what happens tomorrow. It drops or it rises to 65. Gross. It's going to be getting uncomfortable tomorrow, so you're going to feel it. Now, on the weather map, I was talking about those little showers in the north. Again, a couple of those might come in tomorrow afternoon. It's showing right now on the model mainly the western counties. We'll see how that plays out. It's the Lone Ranger. Other models aren't showing it, but this model typically does a pretty good job, so I thought I would share that with you. Weather map shows the heat out west is still there. It starts expanding back to the east tomorrow, and then as we get into Friday, it's here full force, and we're going to be getting very hot at that point. Also, we're going to get more uncomfortable. Right now, we're in that dry range. Tonight, while you're sleeping, we will ease up. And by the time we get to later tomorrow, we're back in the humid range, heading for oppressive as we go into the weekend. Also in the tropics, Harold's falling apart in West Texas. Franklin, we'll talk about that in a moment. And we got some other disturbances, but they should not bother us. So let's look at Franklin and what's going on with this tropical storm. That will continue moving northeast, but then look at the big U-turn it makes. It makes a big hook and turns right as it becomes a hurricane. But it's now, instead of turning all the way back, it is still making that turn to the north as our models were showing yesterday. So that's good for us. May not be so good for Bermuda. They may be dealing with some of this by by Monday forecast to be a 105 mile per hour storm and you can see the models what they show that hook to the right then hook back to the left and then due north is what all the models are showing. Our beach forecast is 86 and 89 with a lot of sun the next two days. Our mountain forecast looks good too, partly cloudy and then mostly sunny 82 up to 84 by Friday and that's for around 3200 feet higher up is cooler than that 78 degrees in the Piedmont this evening. Overnight, we look for a low temperature down to 65. And then tomorrow, we're jumping back from 84 back to 90. And we're bringing the humidity back tomorrow. And as we look ahead, it gets worse on Friday if you don't like heat, 96. So far this summer, the hottest official day for the Triad has been 95, and that was July 28. So right now, we're forecasting it to be a degree hotter than that. 92 degrees on Saturday, 86 degrees on Sunday. Chance of showers remains low for the next few days, but it does come up some next week on Monday and Tuesday and temperatures only near 80 for highs.